Okay, I'm buying it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I am Montoya. I've slept in it. I've given this some thought. You know, I'm I'm very hesitant about adding new ships, but I went and did it. I melted down my Constellation Andromeda for store credit, and I'm about to buy the Mercury. I think they hit it out the park. I've been staring at this gift now for about 10 minutes and uh, I'll tell you why exactly I'm going to purchase this ship. This is the new iconic ship of Star Citizen. It used to be, you can pull up the ship matrix here, I'm comparing the Constellation to the new Mercury Star Runner. The Constellation was meant to be the iconic ship of Star Citizen. You guys who've been here from the beginning remember very, very early on when Chris Roberts was showing off the Constellation, he was saying, hey, this is the uh, the Millennium Falcon of Star... I can't do his accent. I can't do anything like Chris Roberts. Oh, can I? Uh, the Constellation was supposed to be the Millennium Falcon of Star Citizen, but as it has been out-Millennium Falconed by the Mercury. <laughs> And it was a very, very tough decision to get rid of the Constellation because it was the first ship I ever pledged for. And uh, But you know what? The Mercury just outdoes it. Well, it doesn't outdo anything as far as um, the actual stats of the ship, but just the aesthetics of it is just right, you know? And for the price range, okay, 200 bucks. Okay, I'm using store credit, so it's going to be 225 For those of you that are new to Star Citizen and go, holy crap, $225 is a ridiculous amount. But keep in mind, those of us that have been here for a long, long time, we haven't just thrown in a big pool of money right from the beginning. Maybe some of you have. But for most of us, we put in 50 bucks here, 20 bucks there, 10 bucks here, 50 bucks there over the years. So here we are four years later. I've got $225 in store credit, and, well, I do now because I melted the Constellation, and I've been waiting to put it towards something, and the Mercury Star Runner is that ship. So, price range, they hit it exactly where it needs to be. For what it does, it's an all-rounder. It does cargo, it does data, it is a medium, it is fast. It hits on all the points, and most importantly for me is the aesthetic. It just looks like the kind of ship that I want to use in this game a lot. The Constellation, while I, it's always going to be, I think, the unique ship, it just doesn't speak to me the way the Mercury did. Uh, you know, so the price, the aesthetic. Uh, but look at the problems here. All right. First of all, let's compare the two of them. Length, obviously, the Constellation is bigger. Oh, quickly, let's go to the... Not you. Where is... There we go. Okay, this is the comparison chart does, done by... Uh, YT-O and Sebman that put this up regularly on the subreddit. And so here's the side-by-side -side comparison of the Mercury and the Constellations. You can see what's going on there. Obviously much shorter. It's wider because of the wings and the engines. Um, it's sad for me to see the Constellation leave my hangar. But you know what? Okay, some stats here. Obviously length, shorter, beam, wider. The height, the Constellation's taller, but I mean that's got to do with the landing struts and all that size large and medium the constellation is large the mercury is medium so why is that good or why is that bad we haven't really hit this in the game yet the game mechanic there will be a game mechanic where certain ships of a certain size cannot move through certain jump points there will be jump points which will only allow small ships there will be jump points which will only allow medium and smaller and then there'll be large jump points where everything can go through how this will work is if there's a system here and there's a system there, there might be a small jump point. Only small ships can pass. Whereas larger ships will have to jump five, six, seven, eight jumps across. I'm exaggerating. It might be just two or three. But larger ships may have to stick to larger jump points to get certain points. Being a medium-sized ship, now this will require game balance when the game starts. Will there be an advantage to having a medium-sized ship over a medium-sized ship over a larger size? And I say yes. 
there will very, very likely be situations where a jump point will only handle medium-sized ships, where a larger ship will have to take two or three extra jumps. There will be a time disadvantage for larger ships, which are heavily armed, heavily armored. By the way, correction from my last video, I said the Mercury was heavily armored. It is not. It is quite light armored compared to everything else, which is possibly another downside. But let's go on and read some more. Okay, cargo capacity, the same cargo. This is actually what sold me because it's the... The Constellation was supposed to be my small cargo runner. I would much rather do my cargo running in the Mercury, seeing that it is so much faster. Space combat maneuverability, 215. Afterburner speed, uh, 1050. It is faster. Minimum crew, Constellation 3, Mercury 2. What does this mean? Again, we don't have the exact game mechanics in, but it's probably likely that a ship that usually required two people will be easier to run with one person. Admit it. Now, I don't care how many people in your organization, how many friends you have online, there will be plenty of times where you are up at 1 o'clock in the morning, you want to jump into the game, you're going to jump into your ship, and there's no friends around. Can you fly that ship solo? I feel the Mercury is a lot more soloable than possibly the Constellation. Look, we'll have to see in the game if that's true or not, but uh, I like that. It is probably a good solo ship. Uh, as far as maneuverability, uh, we don't have any stats on that yet. But weaponry, now this is where it falls short big time compared to the Constellation. The Constellation has 4x4 four four M6A laser cannons, whereas the Mercury has two size, two laser gimbaled laser repeaters. Now being gimbaled means if you switch it for a fixed weapon, it ups one size. So that's two size threes, still way off from the four size fours. Tarots, pretty much the same. Missiles. The Constellation is a missile boat. This is not. So very, very outgunned by the Constellation. Yet, you know what? If I'm going to combat, I'm not taking this ship. If I'm just doing some cargo running, some data running, some smuggling, then yes, this is the fast solo ship that I will most likely go to. So uh, that was my reasoning. Uh, I gave it thought. Uh, I'm sad to see the Constellation go, but this is what I imagine myself flying in in the game. So with that, uh, here we go. Add it in the cart. Standalone ship, Mercury Star Runner, in stock, 225. Let us <sighs> check out. Doesn't matter how many times I do this, it's still kind of, you know, you're always wondering, should I, shouldn't I? Let's do it. Here we go. Checking out. Go. A few moments later. The sale is not transferable. If you are new, keep in mind that if you buy something with store credit, you cannot gift that to someone else. It is fixed to your account. Uh, this ship was bought with store, cre store credit, so it is not transferable. Place order. Here we go. In a few seconds, the Mercury will be mine. Place order. Ah, And now, as is tradition, click on my hanger. Ah, there it is in my hangar. Feels good. No regrets yet. No buyer's remorse yet. I think I've done the right thing here. Have I done the right thing? Let me know. Did you do the right thing and buy this too and sell your constellation? I feel bad for those constellations getting melted right now. <laughs> Give me your thoughts. As always, thumbs up, comments below. I'll see you in the next one.